What's up everybody, Main Fly Guys here with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be tying a banjo minnow that um, I had really good success with this morning. I've already put on some dumbbell eyes, these are large, and this hook is a tarpon uh, must add 2 aught. So just grab some white bucktail, and I want this fly to be about 3 to 4 inches long, so I'm just going to grab a little piece of bucktail here. Start behind the eyes. I'm going to trim the ends. So those are squared off, and I'm just going to secure it right behind the eye, and I'm just going to wrap all the way down to the bend of the hook. Keep the material on top. You want uh, some deer hair that's not going to flail up too much. If you have a few pieces that are flaring up, then you can just trim them off or rip them out. If you want it kind of laying flat. Um, so I just kind of go back over the body just to make sure that it's secured down nice and tight. And then I'm going to add in a little dubbing loop here. Now, some people will just wrap the body in silver, but I want a little more. Um, a little more robustness to the body, I guess you would say. Um, I kind of want it to be a little bulkier. So here I just have some ice dub. And you don't need a whole lot because I don't want it to be too bulky. Um, but I just want it to be a little extra flashy. I just feel like the wrapping the body in silver is... I don't know, I just feel like it's not enough. You know, and it's not a very long body, it's pretty short, but... But, um... But, alright, so I give that a twirl, give it a couple twirls. And I'm just gonna brush it out a little bit. I don't want it to be... I don't want the fibers to be too long. Because I don't want them to sort of get all caught up in the tail. Um... And then... Just wrap her up, and you can brush it out after. You can brush it out after. So I'll just give you some wraps to the eye. Once you've hit the eye, go ahead and lock it in right behind the eye. And that's what you're left with. So you're just a little bulkier, nothing, nothing too, too crazy, but just a little bulkier. Give those a few more wraps there. Make sure everything's pointing backwards. All right. Next, you're gonna grab another clump of white deer hair. Again, doesn't need to be a lot. But this one's going to be shorter. You want it to go about midway to the tail, midway through the tail, somewhere in between the back of the hook and midway to the tail. This is this fly is going to um, swim with the hook up, so this is going to be the belly of the fly. So right about there is good. Again, you don't need a lot of material. I know at times you feel like it's not enough, but so wrap it out front of the eyes, and then I'm going to go behind the eyes and just do a cinch down right there. I'm just going to cinch it down three times and move back to the front. And I'm going to trim this excess as close as I can get it. And there you go. It'll flare up a little bit. That looks pretty decent. And I just secure the loose ends there. So, all right, so there we go. Not too bad. There we go. Next, we're gonna add in some gills on either side. And I'm using red marabou. Typically this is done with rabbit, red rabbit. Um, but what you do, I like the marabou because it just kinda adds a, I don't know, it's a little more gilly, I feel like. But, um, 
tie it in on the front side on one side and then keep it keep it to one side and cinch it down behind the eyes and all it does is just keep like a flaring gill there um, and that's it so I do that to both sides trying to get them to be the same density but more importantly I think is the same length and so I'm going to do the same thing on the other side trap it down come behind the eyes be careful not to trap any of the other fibers that's what I'm kind of having trouble with right now there we go there we go so it should look something like that where they're pretty even um, pulled to one side and I just like the marabou because it's, I don't know, it's a little fluffier. Rabbit is so fine and looks so clean. Kind of want mine to be a little, little on the rough side. Um, so just lock it in. Don't build up too big of a head because we still have a bunch of stuff to do on the bottom. So now you can flip it over and work back. And we're gonna add three layers here. This is the first one. This is a SF blend. It's just natural colored. Um, I grab a pretty solid clump. You want this to be the full length, if not a little bit past your your tail. So it should be um, should be a little bit past it. Okay. So all you're gonna do is measure it out so that it's the full length of the fly, if not a little past it. That's pretty good right about there. And then you're just going to tie it in. I hold it to the side. And then you can kind of work it in to the top of the fly. So there we go. Work it right in. Before I go too far, I like to trim the front just to make sure that I have enough room. You don't want to crowd the eye. And then I'll just kind of tease them apart and make sure that they're um, the proper length. So I just kind of work them back through the hook there. And that looks pretty good. So sometimes I'll use wax um, because the SF blend and the deer hair can get a little slick. So I'll just use a little wax. Um, okay, the next step is we're gonna take uh, some brown Again, you want this to lay pretty flat, so take it from uh, closer to the tip, closer to the tip of the fly, uh, the tip of the uh, deer tail. And not a lot, only taking, you know, not really that, uh, that thick of a clump there. If you do too thick of a clump, then what ends up happening is your head gets really, really bulky, and we don't want that. So measure them out. You want these to be the same length as the F SF blend that you just put down. Same exact length as the F SF blend. So you'll need to measure it out. Again, I just hold it kind of on the side, do a few wraps just to tighten it. And then once it's in position, before you really, really tighten it down, make sure that the hairs are in position. That looks pretty good. Here I have a little bit of wax on my thread there, so. All right, so that's pretty good. Those hairs are sitting up on top. Make sure none of them have rolled to the side. And I use my whip finishing tool to kind of just parse the hairs out to either side just to see how they're laying, and they're laying pretty good. So I don't want this hair to flare up too much, so I'm not pulling down super, super tight. I mean, you, you want it to be taut, but not, uh, not super, super tight because they'll flare up. The harder you pull down, the more that they will flare up. So I want them to stay kind of flat like that. 
Um, and then finally, I take about seven or eight strands of peacock curl, and we're gonna tie that in right on top of the brown. Again, you want it to be the full length, if not a little longer. So just find it where it's gonna be that full length, measure it out, and really try to get these to be perfectly on top. Because this is trying to imitate a bait fish, and bait fish typically have that really dark back. And there we go. So I work backwards, leaving me some room to trim the front here. And once I've gone all the way back, as far back as I want to, I will move forward and secure the tips. There we go. Once that's in, pretty secured. I'm gonna come through with a whip finisher. Do a couple four turn finishes. I'm not too worried about the head. Um, not too worried about the head because I'm gonna put some glue on it and that will help the shape of it. But before I put the glue, the last touch is right where the, uh, the peacock curl is coming in, I'm gonna take a black Sharpie and I'm gonna continue that dark line all the way down just so that it keeps that black sort of profile on the top and that sort of lighter profile on the bottom. And so there you have it. There is our, um, here's our banjo minnow. Really effective pattern. Caught about a dozen stripers for me this morning. Um, super, super fishy looking and really just a, just a killer. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment. Please subscribe to us or check us out on Instagram at MainFlyGuys. We'll see you next time.